welcome to Right and Rejoice. On today's episode, we will be discussing leadership with Dr. Linus Okori. I want you to stay tuned. We'll go on a break and we'll be right back. Linus Okori is a renowned leadership development coach and human capital development consultant. For over 20 years, his vast experience in leadership coaching, mentoring, and advocacy across the world for over two decades has distinguished him as a trusted name in leadership excellence. He is the founder and president, Guardians of the Nation International, Gutney, a leadership development non-profit organization which has developed 15 leadership brands to train and nurture youth, elected officials, and general public on effective leadership skills and values. Linus Okori is also the managing consultant of New Vision Consult, a world-class leadership consulting firm he founded in 2007, advising and training top-level civil servants, government officials, military and paramilitary, as well as the private sector. He is the West African representative of Adair International, United Kingdom. He has inspired over 300,000 people across Nigeria and Africa who have directly gone through his leadership programs and millions through radio and television. As an influential speaker, Linus Okori has graced many live conferences, radio and television platforms across Africa, Middle East, Europe and USA as a guest speaker, trainer and advisor. He is the author of Footprints, Leading Beyond Today, a book already in the world market, which was forwarded by Dr. Miles Muroy. Linus Okori has a master's degree in organizational leadership from Regent University, Virginia Beach, USA. He is an alumnus of the International Visitors Program, IVLP, sponsored by the U.S. government under the Department of State, a program which has produced 300 presidents of various countries since its inception. Linus Okori is also an alumnus of the Executive Leadership Education Program of Harvard University's Kennedy School of Government, Boston, USA, with a certification in the Arts and Practice of Leadership Development. He has recently bagged two honorary doctoral degree awards and was inducted into the College of Fellows at the African Business School. He also recently received a doctoral honorary degree in Leadership Development Studies from Gregory University, Uturu, Abia State in Nigeria. He is a board member of Imo State University alumni and many others. Linus Okoro is a consummate leader of men, a man of honor, a nation builder, resource mobilizer, and a leading scholar in the growth and development of nations. He has received several local and international awards in recognition of his dynamic efforts in business, leadership, development, community service, and good governance. Advocacies such as Best of African Award by U.S. Africa Magazine, Houston, Texas, Fresnet International USA, and many others. You're welcome to the show, sir. Great to be part of the show. Because one of the problems we have in Africa and in Nigeria is the problem of leadership. We hear it every day, we see it every day. It is affecting each and every one of us. Why did you want to go? Okay, leadership is the way to go, and I want to teach it to people. I was only 19 years old when the vision to grow leaders and develop leadership capital for our country hit me. Yeah. I just left secondary school and I could remember that day I couldn't sleep. I was restless about the Nigerian condition. I realized that there was very little leadership capital available in the leadership space. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to build a new generation of leaders that would think differently. And I remember my first meeting, I called um, a couple of my friends and I was sharing the vision with them about the need to invest in leadership development. And it's exactly 25 years ago. Wow. When they, <laughs> and I took the vision into the university and we began to raise leaders at the university level. And by the time what was going on, 25 years after, we are at the Godney Leadership Center. Thousands and thousands of people have gone through our leadership development processes all over the country because everything falls and rises on leadership, according to Dr. John Maxwell. There, no organization can make progress. No family can go to a path of growth. 
No business can survive until leadership capital is resident in those institutions. And that was one of the reasons why I felt I would make it my life's affair to invest and develop the next generation of leaders, not just only for Nigeria, but for the continent of Africa. And it's been a journey of growth. It's been a consistent journey. And I can tell you that from conferencing, mm -hmm. from organizing trainings and conferences in the public domain and hotels and systems, where we now have been able to set up the most comprehensive leadership development center for the teaching of leadership, where we bring the brands from all over the world, mm -hmm. the global brands on leadership, and um, connect them with the local brand, and then we teach leadership. I mean, it is a way of life. Yeah. It's something that if we get it right in this country in terms of leadership development, this country will grow. I don't know why we don't have leadership as in our curriculum, starting from primary school, for yes. example. Yes. You know, when you talk about leadership, you, you people begin to think that leadership has to do with government. Yeah. And I realize that it's not just about government. Leadership starts in, in your home, in schools, in your places of work, in business, and all that. What, I, what has got me doing, actually, to, to educate people in a society that this, this thing called leadership is very, very, very important in every aspect of life? Well, this is exactly what God has done for the past 25 years. Mm -hmm. So leadership starts from the individual. <clears throat> That's what we call mind leadership. Mind leadership means your ability to lead your mind. To get your the mind is usually neutral. If you lead your mind positively, your mind will think positive thoughts. Mm -hmm. Your mind will help you generate certain core values that can help you thrive mm -hmm. as a leader. Then there's personal leadership, mm -hmm. where the individual begins to lead self. Mm -hmm. So imagine if you you are the CEO of your life, the chief That's executive true. officer of your life. <laughs> At, that's what it is. Yeah. You take certain decisions. Imagine if you t make decisions, take decisions based on values that are leadership-based values. Mm -hmm. You decide to be selfless, for instance. Yeah. It's a leadership value. Imagine you first of all become a leader first mm -hmm. before you get into becoming a business leader. Mm -hmm. And when you become a business leader, there are certain characteristics mm -hmm. that you must have. And so at family level, the father is a leader what type of leadership skills is required to function as a father, mm -hmm. to function as a mother. And if you begin to understand the way leadership works, so people most of the time occupy positions of leadership and they call themselves leaders. Mm -hmm. Occupation of position of leadership, whether you're a CEO of your company, doesn't make you a leader. Mm -hmm. Whether you are the governor of a state, doesn't make you a leader. Mm -hmm. You are a positional leader. You have authority. What leadership does is that leadership helps you to take certain types of decisions mm -hmm. that would add value to the organization and help build the institution and help build the systems that you run. Mm -hmm. And that is why for all these years we have facilitated a process of letting people know that if you can get leadership right in our curriculum, mm -hmm. Let leadership development be part of our curriculum from primary. In fact, you should start from homes yeah. where the mother starts playing a leadership role mm. because leadership by example mm. it begins to, you know, the way you speak to a child, the way you communicate to a child can determine how far the child can go. Mm. Uh, most of the time, we've seen, you know, people not progress simply because of the fact that they lack certain core values. And so that's why I'm insisting right now, if Nigeria must make progress, mm -hmm. we must make leadership education part of our high school.